Hello everyone, Welchie here and welcome to the Part-Time Gamers YouTube channel. Today we've got a very special video for you, it's the Horizon Forbidden West gameplay reveal, it's a state of play from PlayStation. And we're going to get to see what Guerrilla Games have been working on for this sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. I am super excited. Hopefully you guys are too, hopefully that's why you're here, to see this gameplay and my reactions to it. I'm going to be reacting to each segment of this gameplay. Um, before I go into any like predictions and stuff, I do want to say if you do like this video, please do leave a like. It really helps us a lot. Um, I also want to see some comments in the below, down below. Let me know what you think of the gameplay, um, first of all. What did you think of this uh, state of play reveal? And then what did you think of this kind of video from ourselves? Um, do you want to see more of these reactions? Is there anything I can do to change or improve these um, reaction videos? Then please do let me know. Um, and yeah, obviously, if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe and click the notification bell so you see when our videos go up. And you'll see when we live stream. I've been live streaming a lot of Resident Evil Village lately. Um, but anyway, back to Horizon Forbidden West. What am I expecting? I, I'm expecting we're going to see a lot of underwater gameplay in this in this um, state of play. In the September event, I believe it, where it was first revealed, there was a it was shown that she was underwater with this like mask on, which helped her breathe underwater. So I think we're going to see that because that wasn't in the original Horizon Zero Dawn. So I think we're going to see some of that today, uh, as it's clearly a new gameplay mechanic, gameplay loop. So. I think we're going to see a lot of that. I'm hoping we're also going to see, obviously, more and uh, new uh, machines that we're going to fight against, or maybe machines that we can tame and ride. On the topic of riding machines, I am hoping and praying we get to ride some of the bigger ones, so like the Thunder Jaw from Horizon Zero Dawn, something like that. Or an absolute dream world would be to fly on the machines, so like the Stormbird. Um, that would be incredible. I think we might not get that mainly because this game is also coming out on PS4 and not just PS5. I feel like if it's PS5 exclusive, maybe they could have pushed that, pushed the boundaries, but I don't think we're going to get that. Um, that would be a major, major moment if uh, that happens. You've already seen me lose my shit. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Horizon Zero Dawn. Don't get me wrong, it's not my favourite game ever. Obviously, God of War is. <laughs> um, but I didn't have a Horizon shirt to put on. But um, I do really enjoy Horizon. I've got the Platinum for Horizon Zero Dawn. I need to play the DLC at some point. Um, Frozen Wild, I think it's called. But yeah, I am super excited for this gameplay reveal. Super excited for this game. I'm hoping we're also going to get a release date. Uh, if not, like a more obvious window, say like November. Um, I'm actually expecting it to come out in September. But like late September, if not early October. Because um, I think God of War is going to come out next year. Anyway, let's get into this gameplay reveal. Okay, here we go. It's um, 19 minutes long. Man, I'm pumped. I know that there could be some other stuff here, but it looks like we're going straight into Horizon Forbidden West, which is good. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking down. Uh, it's where my iPad is. Obviously, I'm probably only in the bottom right corner of the video. But um, I've got a weird setup at the moment. Come on. Let's, let's be good. Let's be a good video. Oh. Hi everyone, my name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year we revealed our ambitious new project and since then the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. We are very excited and honored to give you an update in this state of play. And in the countdown video leading up to this moment, you have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West. Yeah, but now I saw some of that. Really special um, for you. It's basically just showing a few of the different um, new areas in the game. You can find those anywhere on the internet. You can find them easily on Reddit, I think that's where I saw them. Here we go, Captain PS5. Mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics, final game. Yeah, obviously. This isn't... It's not Aloy. Damn. Oh, there she is. Graphically incredible at the moment, but again, this could be part of the in-game cinematic. What happened? Where's Erend? Ambush. Ruins of crawling with raiders. They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. 
really impressive. It looks like it really worked on the facial animations. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. What was that? Like a lot. This looks very impressive. Raiders got machines on their side. Claws riders. One of my, I guess, complaints about the original would be probably the faces in the game. If they find them before you do, who knows what they'll do to them? It didn't seem very much life in them. You're injured. I have to. Uh, don't to me. me. I'll make my own way out. Get going. It feels like very different in this one. Though. There's a lot of life in these characters so far. Okay, I'm looking at her like weapons and stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary there at the moment. I can tell. Damn, it looks so good. Wow, look at that. I wonder if they're scalable. I see the birds up there, I'm hoping we fly them, but I'm not expecting to. Man, this is very impressive so far, visually. Obviously nothing gameplay-wise really yet to like blow your mind. Uh -oh. Okay, tall long grass. Staple for any kind of open world game nowadays. They're new. They're new. Holy shit, they look cool. They look like more intense watchers. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, he's riding one. I don't recall them ever ride like enemies ever riding them in the last game. He's got control of them. Interesting. Better be careful. There might be more. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. We don't know what these are called yet. But oh shit! Oh. Is she gonna go underwater here like I thought? Maybe not. Maybe I can lose him in here. Ah. So she's still got the um like the earpiece. And they won't give up, will they? That looks new, whatever that was that she's doing. Now we're underwater. Are they, are they in the water as well? Damn, well they, they might be different enemies. Wow, it looks really good underwater. Oh, are they, are they snap jaws. I wonder what combat will be like underwater because you're going to be much slower underwater unless they've they can somehow find a way around that. If there is combat underwater, maybe if you get spotted underwater, you're dead. Who knows? See, you can tell the currents are like pushing her. It's cool. Could be frustrating. Ah, oh, he's from the Horizon Zero Dawn. Just the ones you slaughtered. Can't remember his name. When they come looking for me, there's gonna be trouble. Oh shit. Trouble. So even he looks like he's got more life in him than this one. Oh shit, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Go 
guys wouldn't be laughing. If I had my hammer. Enough! Get moving! I hope we get to ride the elephant thing. That would be so cool, going around the map in that. I hope there's Tornex. I hope Tornex is still in this game. I used to love seeing the Tornex. And obviously climbing them. Also, apologies if you can hear my guinea pigs. They decided to make a lot of noise. On the purple and the orange bar. We're going for the stealth kill here, aren't we? Yep. Is that like a hidden blade? That Assassin's Creed style? That's not stealthy. You're just better than him. Yeah, he's got he's, 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 oh, cool shit. Your, like, um, wow, I want to call it a spear, whatever, whatever that thing is. I can't remember what they're called now. All right, back to the hunt. Wow, I mean, I remember my at the end of the game, mine was like electrified anyway, but she like attached them into that instead. So, I wonder if instead of having like an electric one, you can have one which you attach different kind of elements to it, maybe. The world looks incredible, and I knew it would. The Horizon Zero Dawn's world was incredible. That's very new. It's, it's not quite like a uncharted like um, rope. There's the bridge. But it's got that kind of vibe. I think I know a way to get there first. She's gonna ride one of those things. Oh, ho, ho, that's new. That is very Zelda Breath of the Wild, that. That was cool, though. I'm happy to see that in there. That's really cool, actually. Not quite the flying I wanted, but I'm very happy that's in. You know, override him? Yeah. That's the same as the last game, it's override them. These things look really cool, these new animal machines. Not the big ones that I was talking about riding, but still, they look cool. I think I didn't do enough of really in the first game, I didn't really ride the machines enough. So far, this game looks epic. Like, is this going to be like a boss fight? I can't get over. I really can't get over how much better their facial animations look. It was always the one thing in the back of your mind when playing that game. It's like their faces just seem off. Oh wow. Okay. That was cool. Oh, 
Oh man, this is this is intense. The f the fights against the big machines are always difficult and intense. Even later on in the game. Yeah, right in the right in the nostril. Nice shot. Oh, oh. Oh, nice, yeah, you still got that. Picking up the machine's weapons when that my guinea pigs are going nuts for some reason. It's because they know I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> so, this elephant's now acting on its own, right? It's lost its people on top. Very interested in that. It seems like you can traverse much quicker. seem difficult to take down but obviously there's a way of doing it. Glad to see me. Uh, you bet. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. Uh, well this time I have a present for you. Uh, oh, oh. I found it anyway. Huh? What you sent me? Found what? Right before the raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. What's that saying? I don't really understand what that means, but. Said a storm was coming. Yeah, and it's almost here. Very cool. Not as long as I thought. Not as long as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I mean that's 14 minutes. Damn, man. that went by quick. That went by really quick. That's only a good sign, right? And there you have it. The first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West, running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it. Yeah, man, I'm excited. Gameplay deep dive. While we have you here, we would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. Yeah. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, narrative director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Hello, Ben. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future after a global catastrophe. Yeah. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant animal-like machines now roam the land and they are extremely dangerous. Machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A strange red blight is spreading across the land and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do that, she and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend Erend into Erend. the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece of technology. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. They are vicious fighters, but even worse, they've acquired the power to override machines. To rescue Erend, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco to overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. The pull caster speeds up climbing and can get you quickly out of the What they call it? The pull cross? The shield wing allows you to safely shield. descend from great heights or surprise enemies from above. With the diving mask, you can stay so diving close mask, as long yeah. as you like and take your time to plan a path around amphibious machines or boost through strong underwater currents. And to speed up overland travel, 
A variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat yeah, that's the same as the last game. With a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. Spear, yes. Yeah. I thought it was called a spear, I just felt a bit silly calling it. Uses and effects. Valor surges add a unique set of special abilities, one of which can be used to knock back nearby enemies. The spear can be charged to create a high damage effect that can take down even the stronger enemies. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with yeah. adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Bows with arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. A powerful launcher that fires spikes that explode on impact. Smoke bombs that temporarily blind enemies. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons, and each of them can be upgraded on a workbench. But more on that another time. Hmm, another time. Does that suggest that it's not coming out that soon? Smart and creative, and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines: sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step moths in the water, and the seemingly uh, harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous, and even more so when overridden by human rebels. We've only scratched the surface of the rebel threat, as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power, and how that secret is related to her quest to stop the Blight. And this is just one of the mysteries she will unravel, as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. Give us a release date. It's time to wrap it up. We will have more updates closer to launch, and everyone here at Guerrilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. Thank you for watching. No release date? Come on. Give us a date. Oh man, it's not coming out for ages, is it? Damn, that's disappointing. I am over the moon with the gameplay, don't get me wrong. Um, that, look, that looked really good. Really good. It looked like more Horizon Zero Dawn. They've, I cannot overstate how much they seem to have proved, improved the, um, the facial animations and just the characters in general. Very happy with that, as it would have been one of my biggest uh, problems with the original. Um, gameplay looks cool. New machines look cool. Especially the elephant, I can't really call it a tusk, a Eli, Eli tusk, I can't remember, whatever. Um, and the new kind of watcher thing they were riding was cool as well. Um, yeah, gameplay looked really, really cool. Attaching that thing to the spear, it'd be interesting to see what other ones you can kind of attach, what kind of abilities they will have. Um, but overall, that was really impressive. Graphically, insanely good, as expected. Um, and yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. Interested to see where the story is going to go. Um, but the most important thing there was the gameplay looks really cool. I'm really glad they added the kind of um, the gliding mechanic, which I know very well from Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's on other games, obviously, but um, that's going to be really cool. And that kind of like, not a slingshot, not a slingshot, but like a, a like almost like a grapple hook. Um, it's very interesting to see how that will be used. Um, yeah, but I will say I am disappointed there's no date. And the fact that there was no date tells me, well, it could mean a few things. One, it's not as close as I have maybe thought um, with my September prediction. Maybe it's going to be like a late October game, which would confirm God of War's not coming this year. Um, two, they're saving another trailer for like an E3-ish event. Obviously they're not at A3 PlayStation, but say, I don't know, a week or two after E3, three weeks, whatever, say early July, they do a showcase. Oh, here's another trailer for Horizon or gameplay, but probably just a trailer after that big amount of gameplay um, with a date. And then it's like, oh, by the way, it's coming out in September, maybe. Um, or, it's just not ready. I don't I, I It's blowing my mind. I was convinced we was going to get a release date today. And the fact that we haven't got one 
it means it's definitely not coming out in July. It's 98% not coming out in August. So, I mean, it's not, it's probably 75% not coming out in September, in my opinion. Maybe it will, maybe. If they do a June event, if they do a July event, then maybe. I feel like they want to, I mean, unless they're learning from their mistakes with Last of Us 2, where they delayed it so many times, they're just waiting and waiting and waiting before they give a date, maybe. Um, but they gave Ratchet and Clank a date way back. Um, and Returnal. So, I don't know. I am now starting to think that this is going to come out late October. Um, which is strange, because it's going to be a busy period. Um, with the likes of, if a Call of Duty is coming out this year, I know there's rumours it's not, but Call of Duty, Battlefield's coming out this year. Um, the FIFAs and stuff and all the sports games are coming out. It's just a busy time of year. Um, so, a bit shocked that we didn't get a release date. But, I think it confirms that this is going to be their big game of the year. There, as well as obviously the Returnals, the Ratchet and Clank, the Deathloop, and then Horizon. I think that'll be the four that they go for this year. With God of War to come out next year. Um, which is kind of what I was expecting. So I guess I shouldn't be that stunned. I just, I thought we'd at least see a date, even if it said October. I thought we'd see the date today. So a bit shocked. But who cares? Well, I care. But hopefully, you you don't care too much. If you do, let me know in the comments. Are you annoyed that we didn't see a date today? Um, but more importantly, did you enjoy the gameplay trailer? Did you enjoy what they showed? Um, if you were a fan of Horizon Zero Dawn, has this made you excited? Or has this actually made you think, actually, this isn't looking what I want it to look like? Or it just looks like more of the same? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know. And uh, we're kind of a debate in the comments. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy this reaction video, please do leave a like, it helps out a lot. Um, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Um, there's going to be another video coming out next week. Um, not of reactions. Actually, there might be another reactions video coming out as well. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, lots of videos coming out on the channel as well as my Resident Evil Let's Play. So if you do enjoy this video and all my other stuff and all our other stuff, then please do subscribe. And uh, yeah, look in the description below for our Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. fipsy has been streaming a lot of Warzone lately, but he plays other games as well. Um, so give us a follow on there. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you're excited for Horizon Forbidden West. Hopefully it's coming out before November. I'm hoping it's September, but I'm, I'm doubting now. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.